It wouldn't be reckless experimentation audio if we didn't try to let the smoke out of a module occasionally. Here we have a Blue Lantern subharmonic module. If we look at the scope trace, we can see it does a great job destroying the incoming waveform at audio frequencies. But if we slow down the input to a few hertz or less, unusable nothing is the result. This is due to DC blocking capacitors in series with the potentiometers. If we bypass these caps, we should be able to pass a DC signal straight through the module. Current limiting resistors are in series with the potentiometers, so there should be a fairly low risk mod. And here's the module with the capacitors bypassed. If I ever wanted to restore the original function, all I have to do is snip the jumper wires off the board. Now let's see what it does. At audio frequencies, similar to before, but if we slow it down, like one hertz or less, boom, a perfect DC signal at the output. Now why would you want to do this? By using an LFO as a clock source, this module is now a mini sequencer. With a little attenuation and offsetting of the output, you can control your VCO or synth voice for results like this. And manipulating the knobs changes up the sequence. 